It was February 1st. You know how when the sun goes down, it gets a little icy. The bus was coming in like five minutes. And so I just like straight lined it from the top. Caught an edge and just the speed that I hit the ground was just, I don't know, I didn't comprehend it. I must have been passed out for a while. Ski patrol was there. They checked my neck and all that stuff. They asked me to stand up, but I, I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't talk. So the ambulance kind of came. They were like, yeah, we're just going to bring you down to the hospital. And um, when I stood up, it was just like white, kind of like coming in from the sides, just kind of like white, just like filling in. And um, that was that was that. I mean, I guess I died. <laughs> um, just pretty weird to think about. It wasn't really even a scary part of my life. It was very peaceful. But then I wake up with my dad's crotch right in my face. <laughs> and he was there for me. I mean, yeah, it's just a big deal to have my dad there for me at that, that time of my life. Yeah, I got to the ambulance. A couple dudes in there, super nice guys. Went to surgery when my poor mom was just crying. I felt so bad I didn't want her to feel pain or anything. Woke up and um, started my seven days of hell. That week in the hospital was the worst week of my life. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't drink. And my mom was just there, she kind of like sleeping on the floor, just right next to me for a whole week. It's such a sacrifice my whole family went through just for me. It's good to know that they're, they're there for me no matter what happens. In order to leave the hospital, I could leave whenever I wanted. I just had to drink one cup of water. That's all. I couldn't drink one cup of water for seven days. But I finally did. When I got home, just the, the love and support of the ski community, my neighbors and everyone just really helped me gain my confidence back and get back skiing as soon as possible. 